summertime. Summertime is one season. I feel like it's one that I just keep on thinking, ah. Well, obviously it's my favourite season, and it's of course the first month of summer, being June. Yes, June is the first month of summer, so don't get confused if you're literally living in a land down under, perhaps so, because obviously that's our summer, being the Northern Hemisphere. Because your summers are in December, January, and February. But, anyways, we're literally living in a typical British summertime because obviously we had a bit of hot days there, a bit of warm or very warm days there, but look at that. Not looking too crash on the moment though, the, the ground looks so damp now, it's so pretty much wet there. It's soaking wet there because we had a bit of rain. And you know what I'm gonna say next, don't you? Oh, that's just great! I released all that very warm air and it's trapped with nowhere to go! And with that being said, I definitely say that that high pressure has been causing confusion and delay! Look at that! Look at that! Look at the days here! 18 degrees Celsius, disgusting! And look at that, those temperatures aren't even hot enough! 24? It should be 26 degrees Celsius. Oh my goodness me, they. Why aren't these temperatures freaking 30 degrees Celsius? It's like you're living somewhere in Scandinavia. Give me a break! But anyways, with that rant over now, I'm just gonna take a look at some flip flop toys that I've actually haven't done any reviews of. And I gotta tell you, it's been like a long, long time, strangely enough, though. And because of the very wet and chronic my rainy sort of weather that, that we had recently though and I gotta tell you what I didn't manage to basically review a lot of flip up toys I didn't actually manage to create as many flip up toy reviews as I would normally do but anyways let me just go ahead and start off with something very sloppy here and yes because we had a very cold and wet May day well it was disappointing eh? oh I, I just saw something there it is what it looks like to be a telecommunications tower and it's supposed to be a microwave tower though, obviously for the fact that these things are like uh, microwave transmitters, I believe they're called microwave transmitters. It's like the BT Tower in Birmingham where I live though. God, I tell you what, it looks quite interesting. It's got those um, antennae at the top though, there's a quadro of uh, antennae there, there's four of them, which looks quite nice. And on the other side, there's some more microwave transmitters, in fact we have 14 of these. I gotta tell you, it looks quite nice though. Yeah, it looks actually very, very beautiful though, this sort of microwave transmitter. And it's also got quite a lot of colours as well though, which looks very, very nice though, which is pretty interesting though. Uh, I gotta tell you what, it looks very, very nice. Um, yes. 13, 14, 15, I'd say 14 of these, which is definitely the nicest thing I could say here. And uh, yes, this is actually quite a nice looking microwave transmitter. And I'm not going to confuse it with the microwave oven. But uh, it looks quite nice. It's got. Wow, it's got a very interesting colour pattern of grey and red. Or should I say silver and red? Nice colour patterns there, obviously, though, of course, though. And uh, the big problem with this telecommunications tower thingy is that it doesn't stand, because you know why? Yes, it was standing before that. I tried to flatten the whole model, but I think I've made the model very flat there. Maybe I've made it too flat there. Maybe I've just put it somewhere dry so that, um, yeah, maybe this thing can just stand better there without feeling too sloppy there. Maybe it's for the fact that, um, yeah, it's gone a bit, you know, I don't know, it's gone quite sloppy there. And uh, it's not even hard there. It's gone a bit soft today, which is not very nice there, even though it's got those beautiful truss lattice tower thingies there. I love the excess on it though because that's what they're meant to be like there and I'll tell you what because this tower was pretty much standing there briefly though I think I had a, an image of it before though um, guess what this tower doesn't stand anymore though it looks like it's some sort of very weird oh it just couldn't even stand that well I tried standing it like this before though with those legs and they just don't work anymore though, so um, looks like this looks like some sort of weird rag doll. Looks like a very dyspraxic telecommunications tower. I mean, just look at that. Maybe I should try and get this thing flat though. I don't know how long I could do this though. I'm trying to make sure I don't have my um. No. File, file, file. I can't even stand up correctly though. So, anyways. 
I think this product here yeah, looks like it's seen far much better days there. I know it's a telecommunications tower though, for the fact it's got these on the top though, and those as well. But uh, yeah, it looks quite nice though. Sadly, it can't even stand up well because of the fact it's gone all soft and, well, it's gone a bit floppy this one, eh? Looks like a very, very dyspraxic um, telecommunications tower. Just doesn't stand that well though for a toy though. I kept on flattening like so. And guess what though? As I tried to stand this thing up, doesn't even want to. What a bummer. <laughs> Quite a funny shape though. With that sort of structure though. But uh, maybe this thing is a bit too tall. Maybe I don't know about that one, eh? But um, it's quite a nice looking telecommunications tower. Maybe I need to put it somewhere which is nice and hot and dry though. Just to make this thing a lot more stabilised. Even when it's standing quickly though. But um, I think that's about it though with this tower though. That can stay over right next to me in the cupboard there I believe though. Or the bookshelf though. Okay, moving right along. I'm just going to put the camera... We've got Luke running today though, as always as per usual though. My clip up videos though, I'm just going to put the camera there so I can take a look at some of the very random flip flap products so I'm going to take a look at some well most of these are bird themed flip flap toys uh, I'm just going to take a look at some ooh, which products do I start off with mainly the pigeons, I'm going to start off with the pigeons first I'm going to grab all the pigeons and um, yeah I might probably save these later on though in this video though, we'll get there and I don't know how much weight I've been losing so much in summertime because obviously for the fact that after seeing all these students and pupils in their school blazers on it feels like I've put up a lot of weight for the fact that blazers I would stereotypically think you would normally wear you know school blazers in a cold winter's day but I'm totally wrong though so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at this put it here without sounding too stereotypical as I would not normally be on YouTube there you go. Ooh, it's a flip flap origami flapping birds dragoon, not to be confused with the word dragon. Fancy pigeon flock, 12 pack, 16 pounds. And it's said to be one of the most popular of all pigeon breeds at one time. And then I have to say it's not really. And it looks quite nice. It's quite a few facts though. It's named after the person um, who actually carries a, a firearms thingy though. And for the fact that it kind of looks like a fire zone there that is in the shape of a dragon head, a carving of a dragon head. Looks quite nice. There's some beautiful details, eh, of that dragoon looking pigeon there. And I'm just going to go ahead and unpack this and see what we have there. It looks quite stunning there. It looks more like a corvid there than a pigeon by the looks of it there. And uh, i got to tell you what, making these products has been, well, it has been hard so far though because of the fact that the um, the weather has been totally inclement though in fact I could tell you what May's weather has been a nightmare because obviously we would have expected some warm and dry weather though but um, sadly we, we didn't have that sort of feature though um, total disappointment though from May and that's why everyone was in their school blazers and stuff though here we are that's the name Dragoon pigeon, not dragon. Uh, classic flapping bird style pigeon, though. As you can tell, though, it's got those um, eye patches there. Love the um, detailings there. I love the beak. And they come in different colours. That's a white and brown one. This one here looks like a, um, a rock dove, but with some brown bars instead of black bars, except for the tail. I wonder why. I don't know why it's got that, though. I love the um, eye patches on it though, it makes it sort of fancy though, as what pigeons are. Domesticated pigeons though. Uh, Columba livia, that's the um, species name though. It feels like 2021 could have the most pigeons out of a year though. It will have like one of the largest pigeon flocks ever. And uh, it's quite nice though, I wonder what this is. It's a dragoon pigeon, another one of these. Looks quite nice though, let's take a look at this one here. It is a, ooh, it's another Dragoon Pigeon, of course, yes, I know there's so many of these ones there. I think that one is a black one, just a fully black one, no, there's no extra detailing on that thing. Okay, and this one here is probably the main bird, this one is probably this one there on the bottom there. And it's got those eye patterns on the top there, 
like so, and it's also got a beak colorization like that. It's got some sort of weird teal front belly underside thingy. I love the tail as well though, it's all black. And also there's different shades of black or different tones of black though on the wings and the detailings and whatnot though. And here's this one here. This one's got a black beak. This looks very, very different though. Very very nice. And we've got like almost the same detailings as what we had before. Uh, but this one's actually a lot more greyer, a bit more darker grey than black. So it's a tad lighter. Okay, this one here is another one of those. It's another one of those pigeons there, which looks similar to that one there, which is a um a white one of course, and I'm just gonna put the camera somewhere like that there because I think one of the dragoon pigeons has taken a bit of a dive there. And uh, this one here obviously looks very similar to the first one I've shown, but um, obviously it's got more of a white and grey-ish, pinkish, well, eye ring though, obviously this beak colorization looks so different though, so I don't know what I'm talking about though, because um, that rogue dragoon pigeon has fallen down to the other side of my bed, and I'm, you know, I'm putting up I don't know why, but I always tend to slack a lot though, because of the fact that, you know, after seeing all these children and teenagers in their school blazers, I could just turn fat. And that's not a great thing to see or look at, eh? Uh, but anyway, it's got orange eyes as well, though. And uh, nice wingy tongues as well. There's another pigeon which looks very weird in colour combination. So it's a fully... That looks quite red there, that pigeon, eh? With the colours on that one, eh? It's got a green neck band, whatever you're going to call it, though. I don't know, but it uh, looks quite nice. And, um... Yeah, it looks very beautiful, though. I love the, um beak detailing as well actually though it's quite like an orangey whitish colour sort of beak though I believe the white part is the cere though it's like you would normally find in budgies though um, let's take a look what we have next this one here I can guarantee that this is a very different species of pigeon so, well obviously it's a very different sort of style of pigeon though it is the same species though uh, there you go there's the name dragoon pigeon there you go not sure if you can see it clearly there. And I love the um, ochre wingtips on that one. Uh, which are of course the bars as well though, which is quite selective breeding though. Generally selective breeding is pretty much the main cause on why these birds are pretty much so different in colours which are, well, not sort of wild though. Or normal colours though, regular colours. And here's like a very golden ochre sort of pigeon there. We've got, well it looks like the bee a white and orange colorization here and then we've got like a red eye now you know it looks quite nice to see a bit of a red eye action on either side and um, there you go there's the name there first I think all of these birds have names on that I suppose oh, goodness me I love the um, flapping action on these pigeons there eh? feels like they're gonna go back to the pigeon now after looking at them there's a, um, is that a light brown one which looks almost dark brown I can guarantee to it. It's also got like red and orange eye colour combinations here. Therefore it looks very, very nice. I love the um, head patterning and things like that though. White and pink. Got to tell what, it's not really normal for these sort of pigeons though. Uh, yes, that's quite a lot of it though. Uh, did I cover some of it though? Um, I'll put it this way. It looks quite nice though. There's this one here with an orange eye on each side though and it's also got a pattern that looks like that there on the wings oh, so it looks very very beautiful, I tell you what, I love the um, brownish um, I honestly thought it was purple though apart from the neck <laughs> and uh, yes, it looks quite nice, the um, greyish brownish sort of wing tip though oh, goodness me it doesn't look too bad with that picture now eh? and um, yes, it looks Pretty interesting now. I think uh, that one there might be our last vision there. Which looks like the archetypal rock dove that we see, you know, not just in towns and cities, that's what domestic pigeons are all like today, but we normally see these guys on cliffs. And I've got to tell you what, these look fancy, don't they, eh? I love the fact that it's a dragoon pigeon, it's all due to selective breeding and whatnot, so. Yeah, I've got to tell you what, I think this, but, um, 
just for you guys. Pretty much finished though. And I'm just gonna pack them up as I would normally do. I'm gonna bring in the camera though because I think I've totally finished this product though. And thank god there are no big seagulls though. You know, the lesser flatbacks and the herring gulls. Maybe they're gonna be coming back sooner or later though. But uh, with a very different format though, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just gonna put them back. Might take a look at them. Small seagull theme product there, which will be very, very different though. Okay, you're done. And you're pretty much dusted. Here you go. Okay, moving along. We've also got. I think we've already made another one of those Dragoon Pigeon theme products. But I think this time it's a fire pack. And it's cost about £9, which is a lot more cheaper compared to the other product that we've recently looked at though. And, um,. How much is it was it again? Uh, let's take a look though. 16 pounds. Obviously, I'm just taking a look at the price though, just to have a bit of a rethink though. 16 pounds. I might take a look at that photo again because I might be totally wrong though. Or maybe if you have some time though, you can just rewatch the video just to find out the price again though. If you can't remember how much did that cost though. Uh, but anyways, there's the back of the packaging though, it looks almost exactly the same as the 12 pack but for the fact we've got smaller pigeon artworks though and we've only got a few pigeons inside though, based on the Dragoon themed well not Dragon, but um, Dragoon you know, obviously it's two O's and not just one O I'm just going to unpack this again, I think I might share some similarities with the other product Oh, they look a bit different though Okay, I'm just going to start off with this one here. This looks like your archetypal rock dove that you see on the cliffs, especially in the coast. In fact, rock doves are in fact nicer to the coast though. And uh, flat, flat, flat. That's all we love to see. And uh, it looks quite nice though. Flat, flat, flat. I love the um. Almost said uh, actually I thought it were blue bars though, but looking at them now, they look more like black. Maybe the bars are a lot more navy blue compared to the fact that what I would literally make with pigeons, so. But, anyways, here's this one here next. This one here is a beautiful looking pigeon. It looks similar to the other one that I did there. Maybe it's in a different format. I can't quite recall. It's obviously the lightest out of all of the pigeons I've produced so far, eh? And actually, a lot more duller compared to the other pigeons I've produced so far, eh? Here's the next one there, which looks pretty much interesting there. They look almost identical to what I've made. This one is a checkered pigeon, as you can tell by the colours and whatnot there. And also it's got those neck detailings there of green and purple. Alright, same with the other side as well. And, most importantly, they even have a name. Dragoon Pigeon. Fancy that, they've even got a pair of red eyes as well though. And we've also got another one there which looks very, very similar to the other one I already reviewed there. But uh, it's got a bit of a much longer neck and a bit of a shorter beak there. Looks very similar in detailing and design though. And uh, there's not much great detailing there I can literally think of. There's a bit of nastiness going on here. Yeah, a bit of stain sort of action going on there. Weird stains on it there. I don't like the stains messing up with toys like that though because they could end up being dirty and rusting you know the whole thing though ruining the whole thing though but um lovely red eyes there you go even though red eyes are meant to be evil looking though but um this is better and again the name dragoon pigeon looks cool and we've also got this one here just a bland i just say it though there's not much detailing going on here it's just got the same neck detailings though and the eye patch detailings as well there, is what Dragoon Pigeons often have though. And as you were saying, the devil is in the detail. There you go, that product is pretty much done. Let's take a look at the other pigeons next. Doesn't look too bad whenever I'm reviewing Fix Up Toys though. Uh, I've got to tell you, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I've got to tell you, I have seen far worse Fix Up products before though, like that telecommunications tower I've just reviewed earlier on though. I actually thought that product fell down by the way so but anyways I'm just going to take a look at our next for that product there I wonder what we're going to go for next ooh I might go for this one here 
It is a white tail domestic pigeon captive flock 12 pack which costs about £13.99 or £14 which is pretty much a little bit much more cheaper though but a lot more expensive because it's a 12 pack and there you go there's the back of the packaging now you can see the different colours of various pigeons though and I believe it's based on some sort of Austrian pigeon breed and please don't confuse me if I say the word Australia though it's actually Austria which is like some sort of European country that is bordered in Hungary and Germany most importantly though I believe they I think it's more German oriented than anything else obviously the country Austria not Australia though but anyways here you go all named as the white towered pigeon there you go hence then you know it's pretty much the name that really hints it so nicely though hence the name white towered domestic pigeons they've got like a whitish tail though I'm just gonna go ahead and unpack this oh before I unpack this look at that they've got like flags though on the word of me <laughs> just to basically represent that yes they're an Austrian pigeon breed though and they actually come in six different colour variations though so we're getting duplicates which is quite interesting now and we've got this one here I'm off to probably move the camera a bit outwards though because I think it'll be better like that there you go which looks like that I love the white towers though even though they don't look whitish to me though white towered pigeon I love the name on that toy um yes I love the eyes as well though I love the fact there's a greenish bluish well let's just say neck band here I love the fact that the detailings they really do rock so well though eh? it looks very beautiful and we've also got another one of these ones there but this one is a bit of a different one though and it's got this time it's got a bit more of a very colorful eye though it's got the same nick bar detailing though I love it though and look at this it's got nice bars as well though but look at this it's got white over there's actually a bit of white there which looks like that running like so and we've also got another one like that why so often I could produce some type of toys along the way oh yes and uh, next one here I believe I think we've got this one in this is a duplicate so uh, maybe it's best if I don't have to flat that one eh but look at this once again we've got the white bars there even though there's a black wing tip there big black wing tip there's some bars here as well the white bars same with the other side here as well okay and there's this one here this one's a lot much more of a very weird colored pigeon there as you can see there's purple brown and gray mashed up together though and there's also some black as well combined together and I love the fact there's a bit of a very weird neck detailing though I love the um, sort of details there, it looks quite nice. I love the coloured eyes which look like that. Green, yellow and orange. As well as black in the middle. Which looks pretty fancy looking as well. Then we've also got another one as well. Just the same picture as what we had before. Eh? Moving right along. Okay, this one here. It's a very different one though for the fact it's got brown bars, black wing tips. And look at this, the Nick Band's a bit different as well. Purple on the top and green on the bottom. Very unusual, isn't it? There's, isn't it meant to be like green on the top and purple on the bottom though? I'm not sure I say violet. But anyways, there is the eye colour here, which looks like that. There's a yellow eye ring with an orange iris on each side. Beautiful though, actually, eh? And we've got another one of these, just a similar sort of design, eh? I love the, the fact they're getting a bit of duplicate sort of, I would just say it, features in that toy. And uh, this one here, that looks quite a bit of a different looking one, eh? Maybe it's the same. Yep, it's actually the same, because I can see the brown bars in it though. Now uh, this one here, this one's got a bit of a pinkish, whitish beak sort of detailing though, but look at that. Look at the colorization here, we've got brown and uh, look at the colours there, it looks very, very similar to the other pigeon that I've already created though uh, with that, um, I just say, neck bar though well actually it's a bit different though if I oh god, I'm a bit tired there today because it's a bit cold there outside though even though it's, I wouldn't classify cold in summer though and it's a bit on the opposite though 
Um, yes, it looks like the eye colours there. It looks like it's sort of reversed there. Here's the other one there. Looks like they swapped the eye colours there. It's quite weird there. It looks more like a Sega eye. Yeah, it looks more like... Yeah, you can see the eye colour there. It looks more Seagull-like. Very weird there, but... Um, quite nice though, actually, there. Look the brown on it there. Here's the other one as well. I'm not going to look at it again there because I've already shown you the other toy there. I know it goes flap, flap, flap. And last two. Those ones there, pretty much, they look very, very nice though. This one's got brown, and there's also some black detailings as well though. Very nice actually though. And uh, it surely does look like a very nice looking toy. Very beautiful, I have to say. Eh? Very, very beautiful indeed. And, um,. Yeah, I'm not going to waste time a lot today because the video will just go a bit too long overall, I think. But uh, it looks quite nice though. Yeah, it looks actually quite interesting. Yeah, this one's a bit more darker than the other one though. Actually, it's got a lot more value into it though. And I'm just referring on how much effort I've been colouring these guys in to make themselves nice and bright though. And also, let's not forget their beautiful white tiles, even though their tiles aren't going to be that perfectly white. Well, they should be, because that's what their names are supposed to be, though. The white tiled domestic pigeon. In they go. And I think that product is pretty much done and dusted. Oh, <laughs> that's quite nice, eh? Oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is, there. But anyways, I'm just going to take a look at another... Um, Flap product, eh? This one here, it's 15 pounds. It's another flip flap of gummy flapping birds toy. It's an English exhibition show homing pigeon uh, mixed breed flock 12 pack. Looks quite nice though, got different pigeons there. And on the back here, that's what we have though. They come in, oh, they come in 12 different unique color variations though, which is chronically nice though. I love the fact it looks. Uh, very, very nicely detailed. Oh wow, look at that! It says operated and also delivered by Royal Mail. I should have put the word and. Or maybe something else there. Oh, it's a very good price though. 30th of April 2021. Oh, oh, I see. This looks like some sort of weird envelope that was delivered in that sort of time. That looks quite interesting though. It's meant to be some sort of. I don't know. Royal Mail envelope though, but um, all of a sudden it's just turned into some sort of weird for that product. And, um, yeah, so it looks quite weird there. I thought I heard something quite chronically wrong though. But, anyways, here are all the pigeons, and I might show you which one of these is an exhibition or a show pigeon. And uh, this one here with white wings, and look at that, it's got detailing like that there. It's got grey lines in it though. It's, got, it's also got a black tail end, and grey as well. The tail is also grey. So it's got like a, um, how do you say, a green neck band some yellow eyes and a black and white beak and this one here is an oh it's an English show uh, homing pigeon so you never know which one of these is an exhibition or a show English homing pigeon pretty much these breeds were pretty much designed well obviously these guys were bred for racing around and most importantly they were bred for pigeon racing this one's another English show homing pigeon and this one here has got green, but also, ooh, a bit of brown as well though, on the neck bands. It's got a bit of orange on each side, on the eyes, or should I say the irises. There you go, there's black on the wings though, I should have spoke quite nicely though, because obviously I wasn't that pretty enthusiastic though, for the fact that, um, you know what, maybe it's for the fact that the weather has gone, making me a bit, oh, that colour outside, make me feel quite a bit, Drowsy day, quite drowsy sort of weather though. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's take a look at this one here. This is a dark coloured pigeon, much more darker grey. But look at the purple neck band and the brown. Is that brown and orange? I can't quite tell though. That's quite weird though. Just have you seen this day? And let's take a look at what we have underneath. That's an English show humming pigeon underneath. There's another one of those, eh? And there wasn't the detail. Oh my goodness, well, I think I've just said it again, eh? 
and it looks quite interesting No, this one's more of a well just a normal coloured pigeon No, well it's grey but there's also a black tower and, and strangely enough it actually doesn't have any well that's weird though it doesn't have any black lines in it though because look at this look at that there's white wingtips instead of black and there's brown in it already though and looking on this wow quite interesting details though it's got like green but there's also like a very weird magenta sort of pinkish purplish sort of neck band and there's also a pair of yellow eyes if I can show you quickly though without letting you guys just miss the mark and uh, here's the other side too here yeah. okay it doesn't look too bad I suppose it's sort of quite amazing though no? oh something nasty though my fingers though looks like my skin's peeling off though Oh, it's a bit grotesque. I don't want to go there, though. Eh? But uh, that's that's quite a nice pigeon, though. That one there, I'm just showing you there. Um, let's just take a look at another one next. Otherwise, my finger's going to be too cringy there by looking at there. Oh God, it's going to pain me there. I don't want to show anything too gory in that one, eh? Uh, this one here next. It is a. That's quite a nice looking. Looks like a rock dove that one, eh? Blue bar, but. For the fact it's got this sort of eye colorization, looks sort of different, doesn't it? Eh? And this one is an English show hanging pigeon. Once again, wow, pretty fancy looking. As you know, pretty much relevant as this sounds because we've got fancy pigeons. And you know, it's actually gone a bit stiff. Well, obviously, they. And um, yeah, it looks quite nice though. I love the fact it's got those eyes in it though, which makes it a bit, well, weird though. With that colorization of being white. And there's also grey as well though, on the beak. And next one here is, is another English show pigeon? No, it's an English, oh that's weird, it's an English exhibition homing pigeon. It's got brown eyes, big brown eyes. And if I turn it to the other side, it's got a very nice sort of wing detailing though trying to be very very careful though on what I'm showing on my YouTube channel and uh, it looks quite nice though, I love the fact that you can flap like so it's missing the black tail end there's the other side here okay doesn't look too bad and uh, I gotta tell you it looks really really stunning I have to say it's not one of the baddest flip products I've made so far love the purplish greyish detailing there as well and we'll take a look at this one here next. This one's got a very eerie looking eye because look at the pupil though. It looks quite small looking though. It's quite a small looking pupil on that eye. How weird is that? And um, let's take a look at the neck band. What are we going to call it though? I don't know why I'm calling these things neck bands. But um, yeah, it looks quite nice. And. Um, there you go. It looks like your typical rock dove, but in a very edgy way. And it's an English exhibition homing pigeon. Fancy that. Well, obviously. Here's a, um, that looks like a blackish coloured pigeon, though. And, uh, once again. Oh, it's an English uh, homing pigeon. I thought this one's an exhibition one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it makes a bit of a clicking sound as well. Lovely, isn't it, though? Lovely yellow pigeons, though quite nice though in the white flaps love the colour in it too and I have to say it doesn't look too bad indeed okay let's move on to this one here obviously I know this one's quite good though for the fact there's not much detailing this one here's got like a brown bar sort of colorization there there's no tail band detailing there quite weird though and uh, this nice clicking action onto that bird eh Wow, we are. it looks beautiful though. It's got a grey head there, I believe. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks quite grey. It's got a pinkish white beak colorization there. It's also brown on the neck band, and it looks quite nice. Very fancy. And um, let's take a look at this one here next. It is a, um, I would just say it. It's another one of those exhibition pigeons there. Isn't it an exhibition pigeon? Yes, it is. There you go. It's another one of those English exhibition Having pigeons though, and then what I'm also going to take a look at is um, this sort of, I would just say, a nice looking, um, I would just say, eye though, and there's also a lovely neck band as well, which looks quite nice though. 
And the tail also looks quite cool as well though, and strangely enough we've also got a very uh, sort of colour combination though. Looks like I not normally see these sort of wingtip detailings though, on these toys though. And i got a funny feeling, it's sort of strange indeed. But um, yeah, it's got to tell, oh wait, hang on, what's even more stranger is, is that look at the eye, it looks like the eye is sort of blending from yellow to um, limeish green. It looks quite weird though, maybe I should start thinking about maybe try and make a few products though and just start thinking about this one here and this one here is a um oh I wonder what this is it is a there's an, it's another one of those English exhibition I would you say it I mean I would you say it I would say it's one of those homing doves I'm gonna call them though because of the fact that these guys are also known as rock doves as we all know and um, I don't know about that but it looks quite beautiful eh maybe should start making some flip-flop origami ponies products today eh? And it uh, looks pinkish though. That sort of, I would you say, Nick Bang colour going on here, eh? Maybe I should make like 115 pony thing products. I would just say, it looks quite interesting though. I love the um, detailing as though, and this one here is much more of a checkered guy though. I would just say, though, it looks very beautiful though. And there you go, there's the name on it over there. And I gotta tell you what, it looks quite nice indeed. And look at the um, eye. The colorization as well it looks quite interesting now. I love the greenish um, and purplish sort of neck band there. And um, I've got to tell you, it looks sort of stunning indeed. And I've got to tell you, it looks very beautiful. But um, yeah, that's about it. There you go. That's about it, guys. Eh? I think this problem is pretty much done now. My goodness me, I should probably make like 115 pony products though. So guys, I've gone a bit off topic though, but I've got a funny feeling that maybe, just maybe, that maybe one day I could just make like over 200 just like origami pony products though. That's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I have to do that from at least around maybe September, maybe October, November, December, I can't tell. I can't tell what guys eh? because when will the weather become hot again? And that's what I'm waiting for. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. It's an English carrier pigeon captive flock 12 pack, 15 pounds, 99 or 16 pounds. There's the back of the packaging, and look at that. We've got a shiny looking carrier pigeon now. Oh, there's something out of model pony though with that sort of artwork though. Uh, maybe it's not, but um, obviously though, there's the um, green one there. And we've also got a brown one as well, and we've also got this one here. Pretty funky that guy, eh? And I'm just going to go ahead and unpack this though. I don't know why I'm going a bit fast though, though because I feel like that we're nearly coming up towards the end though. And look at this! Look at this! They've got very strange looking hairs! Look at that! They don't like, look like doves or pigeons anymore, they look like crows now. They look sort of weird. Elephant, I would just say, beak like designs though, on the way they've been created and whatnot though. And i got to tell you what, these sort of colours and whatnot though, they look pretty much stunning. This is quite a nice looking green in this carrier pigeon though. It's got that sort of green colourisation though. Maybe it's not that real though. Well, I've got to tell you what, it looks quite stunning. I love the eye colorization as well, though. Uh, this is a stunning looking toy, though, obviously, though. There's, obviously, there's a name right underneath here. English Carrier Pigeon is also quite a nice one here as well. There's this one here. Okay, so it looks quite nice, though. There's the one there. It's quite cool. I love the beak as well, though. And then you've also got the beautiful orange eye ring, though. And i got to tell you what, there's also big black. Eyes, oh, were they? Got to tell what, crockies, guys. I got a funny feeling that uh, after reviewing all these toys, though, eh, feels like that maybe it's time for me to go ahead and deliver these toys to, well, let's just say other people's homes and let me deliver them for the fact that they're pretty much a must have thing around the house. That's why I might probably say, though. And it looks pretty much nice and so I, tell you, I think Luke is running quite a bit slower now, which is pretty much the saddest aspect that I love to probably refuse some batteries though, but I've got to tell you what those carry pigeons, they look strange though, they're so so different though, there's another one next, this one's like a very weird, I would just say, it's like a very mixed sort of coloured, I would say, abomination though, it looks like a very weird mixed coloured abomination though, that guy here, eh? Yeah, it looks quite stunning when I flap this guy, eh? My goodness me! Also, I love the pink and the whitish beak colorization, though. Very, very nice. And we've got the yellowish and orangey sort of colorization here. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. Next one, eh? Uh, oh, pardon me. Oh, I've just burped. Didn't realize I burped. And they've got the, some wing colors like that, though. Gray and black, which looks like that. 
Okay, and we've also got a. Uh, is that like brown and green to co combine together though? Yellow and orange. I love the colours into that toy, eh? And um, maybe it's best for me though that maybe. I don't know. It's sort of weird, eh? There's another one of those there as well though. And um, hopefully this video won't be as rough and ready though, apart from that. Hit the communications tower, which is failed though. There you go, just the same detailing as what we have seen before. Green and purple neck bands. Looks like an orange. Irish pair though. Also got like a greyish, pinkish sort of beak colorization though. Very unusual though. Same with this one here, but this one's a, bit, a little bit more lighter. And this one is actually got uh, a bit of a brownish bar sort of colorization going on here. Orange and yellow. Man. This looks so beautiful though. And um, I love it though. I love it, I love it, I love it. Maybe you need to go ahead and rework on that telecommunications tower though. And um, here you go, there's a pinkish and greyish looking one there. There's another one of those there. Okay, purple and green. Yellow, orange. And I love that colour combination as well. It looks beautiful and stunning as well though. Okay, I feel like that after making all these manic birds though, maybe it's best for me to try and move on to somewhere else and try and think of a different subject though that not many people can recognise though. Here you go, you've got a pinkish beak colorization though, yellowish orange detailing though. And I love the um, detailing like that though. And I love the um, whitish and greyish looking. I think the wingtips though look quite nice as well though. So I'm just being a bit rough and ready though, but um, that's who I am though. I'm always that rough and ready though. But um, maybe not really though. Hopefully I'm not going to be as rough and ready as before though. There's a white one there, which looks like so. And we've also got a... Oh, just a very strange looking English color vision. And that is very strange though. Now I know these guys are named like so though, and because of their physical appearance, it's pretty much designed of this. I think they've got much more of a slender neck compared to what a regular hamming pigeon would be like though. And sorry I didn't realise this, but these guys have been pretty much been bred, they're actually cross bred with other pigeon breeds to combine into the all familiar Racing Homer Pigeon. I believe it's a breed originating in England or Belgium or somewhere, I can't remember it though. But it looks quite fancy though. And we've got like an orangey pinkish sort of eye colorization as always as per usual though. And um, looks like I've, I'm pretty much done though. With those guys, eh? Although, with that being said, we might have the largest collections of these rats with wings, as I would nickname pigeons, eh? They're pretty much done. That's very, very nice to see. But, um, yes. Yeah, speaking. Oh, yes, I've actually realised, though, there's actually a new model pony toy range, though, in. Uh, I think they'll be released in 2021. I think I heard that Hasbro's doing like a. Um, oh, sorry, I did. I've just run it. At the wrong direction now. I actually realise Hasbro's doing like a model pony toy there. There's a bit of a generation 5 sort of toy there. But, anyways, I'm just going to take a look at some very random toys. Oh, look at this. It's a Sis Gummy toy. And this one is, in the term of the name, Tropical. And it's a Tropical Asian Arowana Fish and Danger Shoal School pack. And I think it's meant to be a 5 pack day. So, I'm just going to put straightforward a number of five there and I think I'm just gonna put the number five there which looks like that how about that it looks quite nice eh there you go seven pounds ninety nine or eight pounds I love the detailings and whatnot though it looks very very nice though there's the back of the packaging I love the colours added to these fishies though in fact it makes it so so nice and detailed though oh look at this one here it's got a very weird colour combination there and same with this one here though but um, this one's a lot more bland but um, I've actually noticed that these guys are pretty much endangered and they're also one of the most expensive aquarium fishies in the world. And they're native to Southeast Asia, which look quite amazing, eh? But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the colour combinations of this Asian arowana. We're going to take a look at this one here first, the green one. Obviously the green one's got very, very nice... Are these supposed to be barbels, eh? And uh, they look very, very nice. They've got those distinctive barbels in the front. A little bit like a catfish, for the fact it's got those in the front there. Lovely tail, beautiful and whatnot though. Sadly it doesn't have any losses in info, which is very disappointing though, and I'm actually starting to feel like I've got a bit of a...
cold. Yeah. But um, anyways, let's take a look at this one here next. I believe it's some sort of rush. Oh god, I yeah. I'm just not gonna. Oh, does that dried up mucus though? I don't want to think about that one again, eh? And uh, this one here. Oh god, 15 seconds on that computer. And this one here on the other side as well. Yes, it looks pretty much stunning, eh? I think these guys are pretty much endangered. And with that being said, they're pretty much on the pet trade. Sort of. I, I can't remember though, but I think these guys are pretty much threatened though. Which is um, very, very threatening overall though, but um, I can't believe it though. It's quite amazing though. And we've also got a discolorization here. That's a very strange colored one here. It's got like a very weird, I don't know, it's very, very weird though. It's got this sort of, it's got a red tail on the back there. It's got orange fins. It's got like a yellow body, purplish um, fin detailing there on the top though. It's got yellow barbels on each side. I love the eye detailing as well. Very funky. It looks pretty fancy that mouth with those swirly looking details though. Then we've also got this reddish, looks like a goldfish colored one eh? Um, obviously there's got those red barbels on the front though. It looks like it's made from a pair of sequins. I know it looks quite stunning though. It looks like it's got fangs on the front though. But they're actually supposed to be barbels. And that looks quite stunning though, these toys, eh? Very nice though. And I've also made this one here, which is supposed to be, well, it's got a very weird colour though. It's got blue, it's got a yellowish, greenish, bluish sort of head though. It's got green fins or flippers. And it's also got a red tail, just like the other one I've just showed you, like that one. I think it was the yellow one though. And it's also got a bit of a red eye action. I don't know why its eye is quite red though, which is pretty weird though. And overall, these guys remind me of. Oh no, it looks like this sequin here looks like it's falling off. Oh, maybe I have to re glue that one back because I think that is pretty much a major flaw for this product though. It just came off there, which is not a very good look, eh? But, uh, anyways, this product is pretty much good. I'm just gonna probably, um, maybe put it there onto the cupboard there, or to the bookshelf there, because I think I might have to do some works on that. Both on that tower and the Alwana's Fish Barbels, which I think was the rainbow one, wasn't it, eh? I believe it was. Anyways, speaking of tropical products, I've also got those cute smooth coated otters. I think it's like a very weird product though, obviously. It costs about £14. It's a cute smooth coated otter raft, raft being a group of otters there and swimming poses with aquatic prey 12 pack it costs about 14 pounds it's one of the other flip flap products I've been debating on because obviously well there's the back of the packaging note I think in Southeast Asia there's actually these species of otters thriving though and they're actually thriving in great numbers though even though these guys are vulnerable I think smooth coated otters tend to be quite common anywhere in Malaysia though, even in urbanised areas like Malaysia, Thailand and Singapore and India I believe they Oh goodness me, I'm going back to tropical themed products. Fancy that one, eh? They normally eat fish. Any more of these? Nah. And the fishies, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a look at the fishies first. Because um, obviously the fishies are based on catfish. As you can tell, there's one of them there. Looking like that. And um, obviously they've got like brown eyes, and they're supposed to be designed after Wish Cash from the Pokemon franchise. And uh, I might also there's something very peculiar about the otters, which would be quite nice to hear about the one, eh? And obviously I'm pretty certain on how these guys are often being made, eh? It's very, very nice actually, eh? With these sort of toys being produced, eh? And next thing here, we've also got like a little Rattata. Which is a rat mouse Pokemon thing. Same detailing on the other side of that toy. Uh, looks nice. And um, and you know what? It looks pretty much nice as it is though. As it is, it's got a bit of a very weird rat like tail. Very, very nice. And we've also got these um, smooth coated otters. Now, what's quite interesting about these guys. Is that they come in like six different poses as well. This one's pretty much smiling there and enjoying his time there. Pretty much swimming, I believe he's swimming there. 
And I've also got another one as well there. Pretty much he's paddling in the waters there. And this one here looks like he's about to eat a fish or something there in his mouth. But he's not opening his mouth though, but I believe he's swimming like that though. That's what otters are meant to be. And I'm, I'm pretty sure if you if you actually fold this down, it will look like it will be floating there in the water though, but maybe it won't be because of the fact that he's so so different or not though. And look at that, they can even carry a fish like that. How realistic is that? Quite a nice looking pose. Then we've also got just this regular otter here, which looks like that. They all remind me of Buizel from Pokemon, as you can tell by their faces in that day. And you know, Buizel, the, the sea weasel otter thing from Pokemon. And we've also got another one of those there, it looks like it's posing like that. This sort of otter swimming like that. So that's quite weird though, yeah. That's strange seeing otters like that swimming in that sort of pose, eh? Okay, it's sort of very weird in design though, but I love it though for the fact it's sort of a very unusual pose of design. Oh, there's another one there, swimming like a turtle. Looks quite nice though, it's a very weird turtle like pose in that smooth coated otter. And I love the um, face detailing there. And we've also got this one here, which I believe looks like it's also, um, is it running? Or is it, um, oh I see, it looks like it's bigging, it looks like it's sitting like that day. It would actually stand like a kangaroo though, if I just put it on top though. Well, it doesn't really stand like that tower. <laughs> It's like that ragdoll dyspraxic tower. How weird is that? It doesn't really understand correctly though. But uh, it looks pretty fancy. Anyways, I haven't got that much long though. We've only got about three more for products to go with. And it um, looks quite nice. I'm just going to put those ones back. There you go. These smooth coated otters are done for the job. As always, as usual though. I feel like when I'm just gonna basically go back and make the that pony products again. I think the last time I did them was on. Oh no, I think I left the fish there. I'm gonna have to come back for that one, eh? Anyways, next for that product is this great cormorant post non breeding family five pack, eight pounds, nine nine or nine pounds. There's the back of the packaging here, looking quite doopy. Those cormorants, though. Strange, isn't it? Eh? The sort of artwork, though. And we've also got like, it's not just the adults, but we've also got juvenile ones as well. Which is pretty interesting though. I think great comments tend to lay like five, three to five eggs. And we've got like, I would just say it there, there's this one here. There you go, it looks pretty nice though. There's another one which looks like that. There's like a greyish, brownish colour combination there. I think I've made these guys before. There was that one product that I actually destroyed because of the fact it was a 2019 flat product. Not only that, but I think for the fact it was too rough and ready. How about that? And maybe for the fact that it just came from an envelope that I should have never been making, Nate. Eh? There's one of those great comments here. I think there's a breeding plumage one, which normally tends to have it like, you know, I think it's like late January or early February to like June. They're meant to have these sort of plumages like that when they're not breeding though, in the summer, in the autumn and in the winter except for February. Pretty nice though those cormorants, very nice eh? And then when I look at on, on the bottom there there's an adult one there. Yeah it doesn't actually look too bad though those cormorants though. I've seen those ones before. But we've actually got a rare species to look out for next and it's going to be something that you actually don't often see in flip up origami flapping birds uh, toys and it's this one here it's quite a small packaging though and this one here is a flip up origami British Wildlife Collection flapping birds toy and it's one of the cheapest products I've made even though it's generation 122 oh pardon me I've just burped generation 122 it's £1.99 or £2 it is called a Eurasian oh I just got a haircut that's weird though, got a bit of a hiccup just now though. It's a Eurasian Reed Wobbler Dual Pack. How about that? Looks very, very nice. I think I had a trip to um, Fort Mill Lake in Sanwell and I must have heard these. And also when I was at Sanwell Valley I was expecting common turns but not they didn't turn up around. Fail. But luckily enough I did see, I think there was three lapwings and an oyster catcher. There was actually just one oyster catcher though. Did, did, did. 
Obviously, I just heard Reed Warblers though, and not only that, I think when I went to that reserve, I also heard Sedge Warblers as well. I think Sedge Warblers are pretty much, well, a little bit much more. Um, how do you say? It? I think Reed Warblers are slow, but they're quite, um, they're pretty much slow paced when they're singing. They, they tend to sing at a slower pace, but I think Sedge Warblers are pretty much chatty day. But uh, anyways, let's take a look at what these reed warblers are like. It's quite rare seeing those songbirds being produced. I, I rarely ever produce those. That's a very rare looking um, design though for a toy like that. Why so often, you know, reed warblers are pretty much made. They don't go together in flocks, but they do breed together though. I think both the male and the female tend to um, monogamously, I think they do monogamously breed together though. Love the colours though, it's brown, it's quite nice, different eye sort of detail. It looks like a blackbird sort of design though, but they are reed warblers, so they're much more smaller in compact design. And this one is also very, very nice as well. I think the troublesome part is, is that because they're literally packed in this small envelope, it doesn't look like that they're sort of uh, comfortably sitting together though or, or resting together in that packaging note anyways I'm just gonna pack these up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at our last Flip Love Origami Flapping Birds product it's also a British Wildlife Collection toy Crikey's I'm getting a lot of Flip Love Origami Flapping Birds products so and it's this one here Wow, can't believe it, the black headed girls are back in the flip flop origami British wild collection toy range, but also look at this, flapping birds, and it's called the adult spring summer um, plumage fishing and feeding frenzy 12 pack, and it costs about £14.95, now I would have never thought that these guys would be made again though, but look at this, do you see something that you actually don't realise though on black headed girls? Not only for the fact they've got like a C shape on the front though, but look at this, they've also got like a red eye ring right over there though, so it's so strange though, they've even got carp and they've also got water straw uh, the bug models though, not real ones. If there were real ones, they'll be dead ones unfortunately though. Look at that, I've got a picture of a winking black headed girl in its chocolate brown head. Fancy that, nice to see the good old chocolate brown head plumage design back again that's all I want to see maybe I want to see more of these in the future though hopefully before like the next August or September but anyways let's take a little fishies first they're basically based on Magikarp obviously they look like that I think the water striders I've made there they're based on Surskit from Pokemon which is like a, a very weird bug type Pokemon there's also a water type Pokemon that evolves into that very weird butterfly. I think his name was um, um I think his name was Masquerade. Actually, do I have another water strider bug? No, I can't. Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> I didn't realise it was there. Look at that, it's a water strider bug, but it doesn't look like one of these at all. Boing! It doesn't even look like a water strider bug. It's not even a water strider bug. It's just so uh, so weird, though. Here's the other one as well. It doesn't even look like one at all. That's weird though, but anyways, they, they are very, very nice though. I'm just going to pack these um, fishies and the water strider bugs away. And I might take a look at those black headed seagulls next. Because there's a bit of an update of what we have. Look at this. If you look closely on the head, I've actually realised in reality black headed gulls have a red eye ring situated on their forward facing C shape sort of black headed or should I say brown headed plumage that's something I actually didn't realise though silly Ivan but um, luckily enough they're here therefore it looks very, very nice though obviously I'll, I'll try and do that though in the future I'll just try and add it onto the winter plumage but uh, I wonder how that would work because um, maybe I need to have a look carefully at the winter plumage and the summer plumage of the black headed girls carefully next because I think Maybe I must have missed something in action though. But um, it looks very, very nice though. I love the um, head detailing though. Looks a bit realistic though. Almost, well, pretty much semi realistic as I would call it. Eh? All of them are adults, not first summer or first winter. 
and luckily enough these guys are fantastic being made like that I'm just so glad I could just make another black headed doll themed product so there you go that was pretty much a very different Flip toy review and it's also the first Flip toy review ever been made in the first month of summer being June anyways please give this video a like subscribe for more Flip Flap content in the future and until next time thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now